Hello, today I am going to show you our new calendar feature within Duato and how it looks for a team plan or an account with more than one provider on it. So here's my home dashboard where you can see I can click on the calendar on the left side and then it's going to bring up my team calendar. So you can see in this team calendar there's multiple different colors. So each color is associated with one of the providers on my team. So first I'm going to show you how to edit every team member's color. I'm going to go up to my profile and then I'm going to click to edit and manage my team. When I go over to members, I'm going to see that each of us has a color assigned and I can change that by going to edit if there's not yet a color or I can change the color here. I can click edit and I can change the color that has been assigned. And then I can save and when each team member has a different color then in the calendar it will show up as different colors when each one has an event booked under their name. So then I will go back to the calendar feature and I'm going to show you how to add a new event. So I'll click on the top right corner to new event. I'm going to add in a consultation. I'm going to add this in for Friday the 19th. I'm going to add that to Alicia. Once I start to type in the name, then the name of the client will pop up and I can click on that client name. And then I'm going to choose the provider from the drop down menu. So all of the people on my team will be in this and I'm going to assign this meeting to Gina. Now here I can start to type in an address and Google will auto populate one of the addresses if you're meeting at a mutual location or an office space. Or if I'm meeting at the client's home, I can just click right here and it will populate the client's address. So as long as the client's address is in their client profile, then that will populate into the new event. So I'm going to say this is going to be on Friday and we're going to schedule it for 5 p.m. half hour long for a consultation. Now I have two notifications at the bottom here. I can have this on if I'd like to notify this client with an email notification when this new event has been created. And I can also choose to remind the client one day prior, or I can leave that off if I don't want to. And we're going to add a description into this and save this event. And then it is going to show up right here. So when I click on one of these events, I can highlight over it and click, and then it'll show all the information for the meeting. So it's the client name, date and time, the provider, and the location. This one doesn't have a description or else it would be right here. So from here, I can go ahead and click on and view all this information. If I click on this meeting, say I wanna make some changes. I can edit from here. And this will bring me back to the first screen I had when I'm creating a new event and I can change any of this information. And if I do make any changes, I can choose to notify the client of these changes or I don't need to if I don't want to. So I can make changes there and also delete the event from here. So if I click on delete, it's going to give me the option to send a message to the client and I can type in a message to send them that the event would delete it. Now, if I do this, it's gonna completely remove it from the calendar. So I can click delete and then it will send them an email notification. I can also change the status down here. So right here, I have a scheduled status. If I'd like to just cancel the meeting, I can go to visit status and change it from here. So right now it's scheduled. I can cancel, confirm, missed, or complete. Each one of these, I can send a notification when I change the status. So if I do need to cancel it, I'm going to choose to send a message to Carrie and say that I'm going to be at a birth and need to reschedule. So I'm going to update the status. And then when it's canceled, it's going to cross that out, but still remain on the calendar. So you know it was there and you know it needs to be rescheduled. Another thing I will point out right here is that this meeting is showing one of two and two of two. So this is an overnight postpartum shift for my client, Jessica Kimball. So the first one's going to show one of two. So it starts on 419 at 10 p.m. and then it goes into the next day of 420 at 6 a.m. So that's why it's showing on two days within that monthly view. I can also choose to schedule something in my calendar that's not associated with the client. So I added in this class I'm teaching, a postpartum workshop. So it's showing the date and the time, myself as the provider, the location of the class, and then I just have a brief, brief description for myself. So if I go into edit it, I basically just didn't add in a client name and then the name of the event will show up as my description. So it's something that's more business, business related rather than client specific. 
The other things I can do within here is view the client profile or add a note. So if I view profile, it's going to bring me to the client profile if I need to see any information within there. And then I can also choose to add a note. So this, click on there, add a note. And this is going to save in the visits tab. So I can go ahead and save that note. Now, if I look back at an event that has previously happened, I can click on something on the 13th and then it's going to show completed. If I do need to go in and say, actually, that client missed that appointment, I'm just going to update that status there. Now I will go to the week view. So the week view is just going to show everything in the all together. So there's three appointments here at the same time with three different providers. So you can see there's three different colors, so that should be okay. But then it will automatically show up on this list altogether. And then there's one at this time. This is a little bit of a longer meeting. And then you can see this postpartum shift is overlapping into this next day. So I can click on there and go to following weeks. And then I could also see the day view. So that's just going to show us a bigger version of everything and the day view, I can also click and have that same information as I have in the month. And I can also edit and change anything from here in each view. So the cool thing about the calendar is that it also links to our visits tab. So if I go to the billing section and then I see the visits, all of the calendar events also populate into this visit tab. So from here, I can view all of the events that are currently scheduled and haven't happened yet, and I can click on this event. Same thing, I can edit the event from here. Each time I make any changes, I can choose to notify the client of these changes or not. And then I can also click on the status from the visits tab and change that status from here as well. Same thing as the calendar. And any note that was added in the calendar is also going to be a note that's in this visit tab. So I can see this note here, and then I can add to it. And they will both save on both ends of the calendar. Now I'm going to show you the on-call calendar. So if you click here next to the day, this is going to bring up the on-call windows for all of my providers and their birth clients. So any client that has a due date listed in their profile is going to automatically come into this on-call window calendar. And Dulato is going to automatically generate the on-call windows to be 38 to 42 weeks based on their due date within the calendar. So I can see when I have all of the names stacked like this, I can see the on-call windows and how they overlap. So I have this pretty big overlap for these two clients. There's no overlap for here. There's a small overlap for Gina. And I can see all of my providers on call windows. When I click to drop down these, then I can see each individual client separately. So I can see the actual start date and end date. So this is 38 weeks and 42 weeks gestation based on their due date in their profile. So I can click and drop down on all of these providers to view everyone individually or sometimes it's helpful to just see them combined so that I could see that all three of these people kind of have some availability within August. Now I can customize this on call window. So say Rose had something come up and she's actually going to have an induction or she had some sort of condition that made the on call window move it up a little bit. So this doula is probably going to be on call closer to 36 to 40 weeks for this client because she's not going to go past 40 weeks. So if I click on this, I can choose to move this due date window up by two weeks. So I can say April 27th, and then I'm going to move this up two weeks here, and then I'm going to save that. Once I have made a change to this on-call window, it's now going to have an orange outline. So that's what the orange outline means. So I can change these if you do want to move it back or forth either time, but once it has been edited, then it's going to have that orange window. Now I do have a client listed in the non-assigned category. So that means this client has not been assigned to any doula yet for their journey. Maybe that is a client that comes in in a lead and they will automatically, as soon as there is a due date in their profile, then it's going to show up on this list. And that way you can use this window to kind of see this due date for Jessica Kimball and who would have the best fit and the best availability for Jessica. So then once Je you go into Jessica's profile and assign a doula to her journey, then she would populate into one of these lists, but know that when she's on the not assigned list, then she's not assigned to any provider at this time. 
So I can close all these windows if I just want to see individually, or I can open them to see all of them at the same time. We hope that you enjoy this calendar feature for team, and we would appreciate any feedback that you have for us while you continually use this for your organization. And you can always reach out if you have any questions or you need any extra support. And we look forward to continue to working together. Thank you.